CW San Diego, the new broadcast partner for your San Diego goals. But even for the athletes that make it to this high level of the minor leagues, the pinnacle of the majors can still feel incredibly far away. While most won't break through to their sport's highest level, one former San Diego goals player hasn't given up on his dream. He's just taken a different route. Our Jake Gariani tells us more about his story. Yeah, thanks, Eric. It was right here in this building that Jordan Samuels Thomas wore a gold sweater in hopes of breaking through to the NHL. Now, Samuels Thomas never made it to the NHL as a player, but now he's paving a new path and breaking barriers along the way, once again dreaming of skating on NHL ice. I'm really happy to be back in the San Diego community and, you know, I'm, now I'm just chasing, I'm chasing my dream, still chasing the same dream, just just in a different way now. Jordan Samuels Thomas played over 80 games donning a goals jersey before officially retiring from pro hockey earlier this year. Playing for the goals, I, I never had so much fun. I mean, especially when the Chargers left, the, the, the organization did such a great job in reaching out to the community. So playing, you know, in front of a, a full stadium, was amazing. He's now back in San Diego and back in pro hockey. But instead of dropping the gloves and getting into a little tilly, he and his crew are now the ones left to break up the fights as an AHL referee. At the end of the day, I think they understand that I have a job to do and that I take it seriously and, and no different than them, like I'm, I'm trying to make it to the NHL. In a sport that has been known for lack of diversity and a continued pursuit of inclusion, Samuels Thomas is once again showing the hockey world that seeing is believing. When I grew up, like, like uh, Ray Bork was my favorite player, but you know, it wasn't until I saw like a Mike Greer or uh, Anton Carter where I saw myself being on the ice at that level, right? So I think the same thing uh, can be said for officiating. Jordan Samuels Thomas is currently the only black referee in the AHL. And with just one black on ice official in the NHL, JST knows there is still a lot of work to be done but believes the sport is heading in the right direction. For me, I always look at is the effort being made, right? So there's been a lot, especially over the last 12 months in terms of people speaking out and sharing those stories. And I think that's really important to kind of shed light to what can happen in this game. And now it's, okay, what can we do to make it better? Um, you know, there's always a slogan that hockey is forever, but how do we make that a reality? Go! I, I just imagine you dreamed of making it to the NHL for the longest time as a player. And, and if you do get to the NHL as a ref, have you thought about maybe what that moment would do in your head and in the, in the sense of pride and accomplishment you would feel? Yeah, I mean, it would mean everything to me, uh, my family, my wife and kids. So I think I think it would, I think it would, it would mean a lot and be a, a, an awesome opportunity and an honor to, to, to wear that NHL crest every night. Yeah, and I got to tell you, Eric, I'm not one to normally root for the guys and gals in the zebra stripes, but I am really pulling for Jordan on this one. We got to know him with his time here in San Diego, and he is just an awesome human being. So best of luck to Jordan Samuels Thomas. I'm Jake Ariani outside of Pechanga Arena. Eric, let's go ahead and send it back to you.